Boston, warning signs are abound through two starts for Drew Pomerantz since returning from a forearm flexor strain. For the second consecutive start, Pomerantz's fastball velocity was lower than his norm. He allowed three homers, tying a career high, in a 4-3 loss to the Tampa Bay Rays Friday night at Fenway Park. Just as concerning is the lack of feel on his curveball through two starts. Pomerantz did his best to remain upbeat and realistic post-game, shortly after allowing four runs over five innings in the loss. He's just two starts into the season. He's healthy, he reiterated, saying, I feel great, I'm still fine, his manager, though, certainly sounded a bit more concerned. As of now, I do feel the breaking ball is not a factor, Cora said when asked if Pomerantz would benefit from some downtime. Teams make adjustments. Honestly, I do feel, there's something else going on right now. We'll take a look at it and see if we can make an adjustment with him where the breaking ball is working, and then we'll know where we're at with him. 40 of them or whatever it is and only two swings and misses? And his breaking ball is a good one. There's an adjustment we have to make right now, Cora laid out the numbers at the top of his press conference Friday night. He said Pomeranz threw 40 breaking balls to raise batters. 21 of them were balls. Only two generated whiffs. That's not a good sign for a pitcher who has thrown his curve over 38% of the time throughout his last two full seasons. As his pitch, Cora said, it's not there, that much is clear, and Pomerantz agreed. How he fixes it, and how quickly that happens, seems less clear. Especially when listening to Cora's comments post-game. Pomerantz said he's close. He controlled the curve well in his pre-game bullpen session, he said, but struggled to find the release point during the game, alternating between hanging the pitch and skipping it in front of the plate. I feel good, he said. I think I'm just waiting for one little piece to click and it's that, and without the curve, Ray's batters waited for a fastball with a velocity that registered in the upper 80s and creeped toward 90 as his start progressed. Wilson Ramos tattooed a fastball in the first inning for a two-run homer over the monster, the pitch Pomerantz said most angered him from his start. Rob Ref Snyder turned on a fastball off the inside of the plate for a solo homer. Daniel Robertson led off the fourth inning with a homer off a Pomerantz changeup. Boston's lefty relied more on the changeup and cutter to get through the second half of his outing once he acknowledged his curveball escaped him. But Cora pointed to other, less notable at-bats. Pomerantz couldn't put CJ Cron away despite being ahead 0-2. A tiny hatch of Aria fought pitches off the other way. Without fear of the hook, Tampa Bay could sit back. Cora left whatever the solution to Pomerantz's problem fairly vague in his post-game presser, the Boston Herald wrote it's possible Pomerantz is even tipping his pitches, although coaches weren't sure, it's an adjustment, Cora said. We'll take a look at video and see if we can find something else more than health and mechanics, Pomerantz said he isn't paying much attention to the radar gun. Cora said he isn't worried about the fastball velocity, adding he believes Pomerantz is pitching effectively with the fastball. He circled back to the curve, reiterating it's a non-factor. Honestly, I do feel, there's something else going on right now, he said. We'll take a look at it and see if we can make an adjustment with him where the breaking ball is working, and then we'll know where we're at with him. 40 of them or whatever it is and only two swings and misses? And his breaking ball is a good one. There's an adjustment we have to make right now, Red Sox starting pitching, spearheaded by the trio of Chris Sale, David Price and Rick Porcello has shined so far this season. But a healthy and effective Pomerantz posted 3.32 errors in each of his last two seasons. Having that type of pitcher as a fourth starter can turn a rotation from very good to elite. He's not pitching like that pitcher right now, though, without a curveball to lean on. Pomerantz hopes it's a quick fix. It's going to happen, Pomerantz said. I've had two starts. I'm not too worried about it. I've put in the work. I'll come in here tomorrow and move forward from there.